We're in New York. <laughs> What are we doing here? We got offered a role at a really cool startup, which you'll find out more about later. We will be going back to Auckland one month today to do Christmas. Then we're going to Sydney, Australia, do our visa interview, get all that so we're allowed to work in the US. Then we will finally come back here with Mr. Hermie the Pug. Come on in. What's up? <laughs> no way. <laughs> What the hell is this? Are you ordering pennies right now? I'll show you luck. I've got how many? 97 rolls and there's 50 pennies. 56 bucks. With bodegas won't know. Just buy sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> if it would go in, it would come out. Is it really in there? Another one? Alright, so it's uh, 6 30 pm. Check this place out. See if we can find ourselves a nice wine. I don't want to touch anything. Mm. French wines. We like French wines. Alright, secured. Uh, this way? Oh, uh, yeah. So, you probably haven't met Maddie, my wife. Also, introducing my brand new editor, Maddie. You would probably have never seen her because she was never in any of my vlogs when I was working from home. Actually currently editing this as we speak so that I can focus on coding at work. Just before we went to Europe, I was posting every week software engineering content based at Auckland, New Zealand. What happened was went to Europe with complete expectations that I would just come back, start posting right away. But I had this moment of reflection, just being like, what do I even want to be like creatively posting? I just realized I don't want to be making like the same respun content every week. It's not that I was doing, but it felt a little bit like I was. Also, how cool is the sunroof? But anyway, most importantly, I had this moment of self-reflection, realized maybe this is not quite what I want to be like posting online and I decided to take a break. What's really cool is in the meantime, met some really cool people, had some really amazing conversations, got offered a job over here in New York. We had to try and sell our house within two weeks. We couldn't, so we rented it. We moved over here. Here we are, and it's kind of crazy. The startup that I'm in, it's called Kiki. We are like a subletting app for New York specifically right now. But pretty much in a nutshell, we make it like super, super easy to list your spare room or your room or your apartment when you're going away on holiday. Finding a friend that can stay in your apartment, look after it, look after your cat. You can just go and enjoy your holiday. That's the app. I am one of two software engineers there with Alex. We're having a lot of fun building this thing. And I hope you guys are excited for New York specific content. Anyway, it's like eight o'clock. I need to go to the office and meet the guys. So uh, yeah. into while I haven't been putting anything out online is running which has been pretty weird for me because I've never been interested in running did my first 20 miler the other day yeah it's been a lot of fun all right so it's Thanksgiving today what have we got going on in here turkey this is the first time we're cooking turkey for Thanksgiving we're sort of cheated is it was really hard to find turkey on the east stripping oh. we're just remembering how to cook because it's been a while since we've had a kitchen turkey one now, get some jackets on because we're going to be on a rooftop. Hello. Yeah, now we just need to get there. Here he is. The kinky man himself. Nice side. Let's go see this rooftop. Oh, look at the... I feel like yours is backwards. Hell, oh, what a How good is this backdrop? Pretty good thing.
Thanksgiving. It's a good holiday we miss out on as Kiwis. First one on the East Coast though. We've done a West True Coast that. now. And it's cool to have another experience. Hang on, I got a new vest. How sick is that? I've never experienced this before. It's so cold that our fingers are like literally in agony. It's 33 degrees Fahrenheit or zero basically Celsius, depending on where you're from. <laughs> I think we need to go buy some gloves. I think we're gonna call that quits. What did we do? We did 0.62 miles. Clovers in sight, guys. Yeah. Heat tech number one fabric in all of New York City. Really good. That was such a good experience. Shout out to Uniqlo, like honestly the nicest people. They were so helpful. Yeah, so they got like RFID tech, so you just put your stuff like in, in a bucket, in kind a of bucket, thing. and it just turns up on the screen. We had actually very fun tech to try and build. Now we are set, guys. No more fail runs for us. And I have a product meeting in like half an hour, so I got to get to it. Alright guys, we're off to our product meeting, heading to Union Square, be there in about 5 minutes. Gramercy Park, one of the most exclusive parks in all of New York. It's been pretty wild over the past like 2 months that Maddie and I have been here. Grown the user base on the app exponentially, we've got like a stupid number of users, we've got revenue coming in. So that's like amazing, pretty exciting stuff. This meeting is pretty much just going to be ensuring that we're taking very very like critical steps, get more users on, give a much better like user experience get more revenue keep growing and yeah and we send it through to the list and we just send one for emails oh this has 24 hours uh, it's one why don't we just try it and then see how many people i'm not saying it's deleted think about it from a looker right you send a booking request the problem with that is there's no feedback from my instagram through to our admin tool and it's not even in their like list yeah that's exactly what it's, i was thinking it's like you know drag it into the position of the list all right Good products ish. Time to head home. So how weird is this? They have these random drains that just decide to like explode. Just taking my laundry. It's not trash. I'm not just carrying a bag of trash down the road. There it is. wash and dry it's a little bit different in new york the way that they do washing you take your laundry down the road in a bag like i just did they give you a ticket at 5 p.m the same day you pick it up it's all washed and folded and ready to go the craziest part about all this is that quite literally none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for being able to code so super happy to announce that today's sponsor of the video is code Academy. So whether you're just starting as a developer or you've already got some experience under your belt, Code Academy allows you to learn by doing. And all you gotta do is just like choose a path that you wanna go down. One of my favorite features, by far, this career path section where you can like choose the kind of role that you wanna be going for in the future. So for example, say I wanna be working at Google or YouTube or like, I can look at these career paths and see all the skills that I need to learn. For example, I've selected here full stack engineer and you can see there's a lot of stuff that I can go through in depth that's gonna like walk me through from zero to 100, all online, self-taught. What's really cool, I didn't even realize, but the full stack engineer actually turns out to be like one of the most popular career paths you can choose. I guess it's because it just can take you so many places, like be a front-end dev, a back-end dev, do an entire stack and build something from zero to 100. Don't feel overwhelmed as well. Like Codecademy's largest user base is beginners and they've like designed everything in a way that you can just follow along, even if you've got zero experience and like get a really deep understanding really, really fast. I think that's the coolest thing about developing and programming in general. You never know everything. Even now I can jump into this after having a few years experience and I still learn new things. And that's the coolest thing. So Code Academy has given me a special link down in the description below. Let me double check. You're gonna get one month of Code Academy Pro for free for the first 300 people to sign up using that link. Thank you so much Code Academy for sponsoring the video. And I guess let's go write some more code.